Nigeria. Nigeria in turmoil as electricity and petrol supply crisis escalates by day. This article is taken from the East African. Nigeria's fuel shortage and a month-long power blackout have converged into a perfect storm, paralyzing the economy of Africa's most populous country, causing social anxiety and raising questions about the country's self-sufficiency in a resource it produces. As the sixth world crude oil producer with significant chunk of gas reserves, Nigeria has been struggling to provide sufficient and affordable energy to citizens for almost two decades now. And with international oil markets reaction to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, images of fuel stations with long queues facing empty pumps have become the order of the day. The situation has extended to the aviation sector as jet fuel has also become scarce, forcing airlines to cut flights or increase ticket prices. Meanwhile, economic activities are grinding to a halt as small, medium, and large-scale businesses hitherto dependent on petrol and diesel because of unreliable electricity supply have reduced production. Initially attributed to the withdrawal from circulation of the imported adulterated petrol in early February, petrol scarcity has lingered for over a month now, despite assurances that the country had been flooded with the product. The government has failed to offer adequate explanation, frustrating the public even further. Nigeria produces 1.2 million barrels of crude oil, but exports it all as its four refineries in Port Harcourt, Wari, and Kaduna are derelict and out of commission. It now depends on importation of all refined petroleum products. Electricity outage has compounded the situation, paralyzing major commercial and industrial cities across the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, in Abuja. Mele Kiyari, the Group Managing Director of Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, attributed the current petrol shortage to hoarding and panic buying while assuring the public in an address to oil stakeholders National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, Petrol Tanker Drivers, Depot and Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, and Major Oil Marketers Association of Nigeria. The petrol crisis got worse when Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, M NMDPRA, confirmed in February that methanol above national specification was imported amid efforts to recall the off-spec petrol from circulation. Street racketeers are selling a liter of petrol for between 300 naira, 45 cents, and 500 naira, 50 cents, as against official price of between 162 naira 35 cents and 165 naira, 36 cents. Lanre Popula, the chairman of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, wants urgent government's intervention to support the production of goods. There is no power supply and there is no diesel to power generating sets, he said. Meanwhile, President Muhammadu Buhari, who is also, the Petroleum Minister submitted a supplementary budget of 2.557 trillion nairas, $5 billion, to the National Assembly to accommodate fuel subsidy payments until June 2023, 
when subsidies would be dropped. Electricity distribution companies are overwhelmed by low power generation and incessant failure of the national grid. The 16 power generation companies, GenCos, have accused the government of not meeting its financial obligations to them. Dr. Joy Ogaji Jin, the executive secretary of the Association of Power Generation Companies Cost said they are unable to maintain their machines and pay gas suppliers, which have resulted in low power generation. The power plants now generate just 2,535 megawatts, far below the minimum national requirement of 5,000 megawatts hitherto pumped into the national grid.